Hey guys, check this out. This is an Eastern Coach Whip. This is our fastest snake in the entire United States. Now as you can see, he's got a bit of a, a darker head and then a lighter body. That's where he gets his name Coach Whip. The darker part of his head would be like the handle and then these big scales look like a braided whip because each individual scale is surrounded by like a little black mark around the edge of each scale. And so it looks like a braided whip. If you know anything about coach whips, you, they have a terrible reputation for being aggressive. And as you can see, this one's being very calm. I've been handling them for maybe 10 minutes or so right now. Check out that head. They're very visual snakes, and sometimes you'll see them in thick grass, and they'll telescope their head up over top the grass and look around at their surroundings. Sometimes they'll head over to a tree and maybe ambush a bird nest or something like that. And look at that beautiful tongue flick. He's got a dark tongue that kind of fades into a light purple. And that's how he's kind of getting an idea of what's going on around him. That's, his, that's how he smells, basically. He sticks that tongue out and gathers scent particles out of the air. And then brings it back in his mouth and sticks his tongue in what's called a Jacobson's organ. And that's basically his nose, is inside of his mouth. And he'll get an idea of what's around him, you know, if there's mice in the area or if there's some other kind of prey. Or maybe some danger like myself. <laughs> Now this individual has had a pretty rough life. If you take a look at his tail, he's got a blunt tail. This is very abnormal. This may have been um, caused by a worker in this orange grove that we're in that maybe saw the snake and went after it with a machete or a shovel. But as you can see, it's healed up nicely. It's really not a big deal for them to get a bit of their tail cut off. It won't grow back like many lizards. But, um, <laughs> here, let's get him on the ground. He's a lot more comfortable when he's got part of his body on the ground rather than when I'm holding him up like that. But I'm just check out this snake. Now normally he'd be about five feet long, a five foot snake, but um, he may be just shy of five feet because of the lack of his tail. And if you look over here on the biggest part of his body, he's got another nasty scar. And really who knows what this was caused by. It's hard to tell. Could have been anything really. Sometimes they'll go after large prey items that are a little too big, and then they'll um, they'll get a little damage on their body. But it's, it seems to be in excellent health despite the few scars. I mean, life's rough for a snake like this, so it's uh, pretty normal to have a few scars. Now this is really abnormal for a koto to let you just get so close to its head. As you can see, he's opened his mouth a tiny bit. I mean, check that snake out. Now another reason that he's being so calm is I'm handling him very gently and respectfully. It's a little bit of gentleness will really go a long way. It can be the difference between getting bit and not getting bit. But getting bit by one of these guys isn't a big deal. He's completely non-venomous. Only thing is he's got an anticoagulant in his saliva. So if he bites on you and chews on you a little bit, you'll just kind of start to bleed a lot. But um, as long as you get home fairly soon and stop the bleeding, it's not a big deal. It's just a lot of blood and it looks bad. You should really expect to get bit if you're handling one of these. Today I got lucky with a with a nice with a nice coach whip, and he's been fairly cooperative. Check out the girth of this snake. It's about the half the size of my wrist, but that's pretty big for a snake, especially any Florida snake. And he just fades in from black and down to this nice tan brownish color. And at the very end, it's almost sand colored. We've got a smart adaptable snake right here. Beautiful snake. <laughs> now I'm no snake charmer. And I'm not using any kind of tricks. This is just a, a very nice coach whip. And this is about maximum size. They do, They can get up to 8 feet, but that's a very rare sight to find one that's 8 feet. Sweet. What else can I say about the snake? Uh, well, you kind of covered it all, I think. 
it could be more than all of this. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop it. Alright. Yeah, it's gotta like. I don't know.